the, uh, as we think about love, I don't want you to be uh, staying up here in your head, thinking about it abstractly, nor do I want you to be equating love with loins and staying below the belt. You know, what I'd like you to do is meet me in the middle, uh, meet me at your heart. Okay, go ahead, you can put your hand on your heart. All right, feel your heart. Just take a second to feel your heart. Yours is not a cartoon heart. It's that reliable muscle beating away in your chest, sending freshly oxygenated blood wherever your body needs it. What I want to help you do is help you appreciate love from your heart's perspective. Now, we sometimes forget that love is an emotion, and the truth about emotions is that they happen in the span of a micro-moment. It's that micro-moment when you truly connect with another living being. Whether you share a laugh with a friend, hug your neighbor with compassion, or smile at a baby. It doesn't even have to be your baby. It could be the baby on the plane. Now, this idea is not completely new. We've heard it before. I see friends So, Louis Armstrong called out the warmth of our everyday greetings as part of the wonders of this world. And those wonders run even deeper still because when you really connect with another person, a beautifully choreographed dance unfolds between you as your smiles, your gestures, your, your postures come to mirror one another and come into synchrony. But that's only the synchrony that you can see. In addition, there's a synchrony that you can't see because when you really connect with another person, when you're sharing this positive vibe with them, uh, your neural firings come into sync, your biochemistries come into sync, even your heart rhythms come into sync. It's as if in that moment of connection, a, a single emotion is rolling across two brains and bodies at once, creating a momentary resonance of good feeling and goodwill between you and the other. Now, uh, what's more is that when you increase your daily diet of these micro-moments of connection, it changes you, not just socially and psychologically, but physically, it changes you physically. And I've become particularly fascinated with your vagus nerve. And your vagus nerve emerges from your brain stem to connect your brain to your heart. And one of its jobs is to slow your racing heart after a fright. But when your vagus nerve is functioning particularly well, it also slows your, your heart just a little bit each time you exhale, creating a healthy rhythm to your heart rate. Now, what happens in Vegas doesn't stay in Vegas. <laughs> okay. It uh, radiates out to affect your health more generally because your vagus nerve is related to your body's ability to regulate glucose, to regulate inflammation, as well as your heart rate. And it also, research shows, establishes your biological capacity for connection. Now, scientists used to think that the functioning of your vagus nerve was pretty well set, kind of like your height once you're an adult. And yet, what my team and I have discovered is that if you increase your daily experiences of heartfelt connection, with others, your vagus nerve functioning improves. The very rhythms of your heart, moment by moment, become healthier. So beat by beat, your physical heart is registering your recent history of connection. My team and I uh, have also begun to kind of drop 